Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here and it is Wednesday the 11th of uh, April and uh, thanks again for watching. As always, this site's kept free of charge by uh, the adverts you see around the screen. So if you see an advert you like, click on it, go through to the advertiser. It's that that generates the revenue for us and it keeps the site free of charge and shows the advertiser you're interested in what we're doing as well. Um, quite a showery day out there today again and it's gonna be for the next few days. And um, if you've been following Twitter, you'll note that I uh, put a musing out earlier on or a tweet earlier on about skew t diagrams now were uh, those of you wondering what on earth skew t's are and i've had loads of messages from you this is a skew t diagram essentially what it is is a graph of temperature versus height so we have temperature across the bottom here and we have height across the left hand side here and the temperature scale actually runs up diagonally these straight blue lines are temperatures uh, just going up there now the red line is the actual air temperature the blue line is the dew point and where these two touch is where we've got cloud now the heights are in uh, millibars up the left hand side kilometers up the right hand side uh, of the chart so uh, one kilometer is a thousand meters so about three thousand feet so we can see there where the two lines the blue line and the red line came close together here at about three and a half thousand feet that's where we had the base of the cloud now what i was saying was in the uh, tweet message was talking about this gray line that you can see running up here that gray line shows us the path that a parcel would take if it was lifted up into the atmosphere whether it would continue to rise or whether it would sink now if that gray line is to the right of the red then our parcel continues to rise therefore clouds form and we get heavy showers if that's to the left of the red line then uh, clouds can't form and we don't get showers so when the gray line is right of the red we call it an unstable atmosphere which is conducive to the formation of cumulus clouds and showers when it's to the left we call it a stable atmosphere so cumulus clouds and showers can't form there you are that's your lesson in meteorology for today um, so let's get on to the forecast and see what's going on in terms of the forecast this is the 7 to 10 day mean flow from the ECMWF on the left here from the GFS on the right this is at 500 millibars and valid from next Wednesday through to Saturday the 21st now UK is under here look and uh, notice how the lines are close together across the Atlantic this is the jet stream flowing through here where these lines are close together and the UK looks staying on the cold side of that jet with some really unsettled conditions going into the Bay of Biscay and through central parts of Europe because that's where the jet stream is. GFS has it very similar as well with a jet stream following a similar path and that gives rise to us being fairly confident in the forecast that actually it looks as if uh, models are agreeing and that means that we can have some confidence in the forecast. So this is how the models are seeing things. This is from the Ensemble model which you can get by clicking on weather charts at the top of the screen then on the GFS Ensemble and it says UK cities here. And uh, I just want you to note two things here. Green bars are rainfall over the coming days and look you can see that we are going into a unsettled period. This is for London by the way and the red lines are temperature now. Notice how the temperature cools off look as we get in towards this weekend but then it picks up next week. This is as the winds go more westerly and what we're going to find next week is quite a difference in the weather as the jet stream becomes established over the country probably tracking its way back further northwards and temperatures as it comes a little further north are likely to be rising in fact let's just take a look at the jet stream chart and see if we can track exactly where it is so i've clicked on the eu jet stream there look and um, this is where it is today across the atlantic look sinking into central parts of europe through the mediterranean now we'll knock this on in 12 hour steps and see what happens there's the jet stream look it's always uh, generally across the uh, south of the country and look even into this weekend it stays down towards the south but what it is doing is trying to edge its way a little bit further north and then it weakens by the time we get through to the back end of the month so we are going to see a weaker effect of this jet stream later on during the month but the main feature is that the jet stream is going to be close by to the south of the country so unsettled conditions that we have at the moment are likely to be continuing how does the CFS see it? Well, let's just take a quick look at the CFS and see what um, what that says in terms of rainfall. So this is the rainfall forecast from the CFS uh, for the weekend in 17th of April. And uh, well, look, here's the jet stream coming through here and you can see all that rainfall across Europe. Into week two, which is the week ending the 24th of April, jet stream is still there, look through Europe. Probably high pressure to the east and the west of the UK, hence the dry conditions here. 
Week 3 takes us through to the 1st of May and uh, jet stream starting to break down look across Europe but some pretty hefty thunderstorms likely for Italy and also the Balkans and perhaps central parts of the Mediterranean as well. And then as we get into week 4 which takes us through to the 8th of May so the jet stream is coming back north look these are going to be showers across central and eastern Europe. For the British Isles though, dry weather ahead, probably high pressure forming in here, extending through Scandinavia, down through the east of the British Isles into the Atlantic. And uh, this is probably a south to southeasterly float, so things becoming a little milder as we get into the early part of May. And then into the uh, middle of May, um, jet stream well established then across the country into Europe, it's probably going to be blowing up through here. And that means that things become much more unsettled during that middle part, well, the uh, up to the week, up to the 15th of May, across those northern parts of Europe. And then into week six, well, we find high pressure building through the UK. This is where we could become quite warm and might enjoy some summery conditions. And uh, that could last into the end of the month, although these are showers across Europe. So quite an unstable flow through Europe, but I think the jet stream up and over the north of the British Isles. So although we'll see some showers to round off the month, I think um, those probably aren't going to be particularly widespread although the indications look for the start of june are the jet stream is back in wet weather across much of the country so things looking more unsettled now i'm working on a more detailed forecast for the rest of the spring and the summer for you which i hope to have with you within the next few days but for now thanks for watching and keep the sun shining bye for now